Whenever you're ready. So my name is Federico Serrano, and we're doing um, U.S. economy and society. I'm doing number one, and the per and our website is Economy in Crisis. This website is is to educate legislators on the American and the American public on the recent recession, as we all are experiencing. It teaches about the country's destruction and its industrial base, and in common terms, it's addressing how the recession in America is hurting us all um, economically and in our national security. However, it is to, its purpose is to address businesses and individuals and to keep the American public educated about the economy's status. Um, it daily updates its articles um, so, so people can stay updated. It's an educational tool and is meant to is meant to be used um, in purpose. It's, it's an educational tool and it's best used when applied to our everyday lives. It does its best to talk about current issues such as unemployment and talks about how it can affect us bad, um, the unemployment rates and um, current social programs. Have, are having a negative effect on our on our society, our basis of society, our way of living. It doesn't matter what order we go in, right? It's whatever you decided on. This is your presentation. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just an audience. The presentation is in an order, so. And, but everyone needs to do their own slideshows. Right. Yeah. All right, good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jordan Kruger. Today I'll be talking about the texture and the content of the website. Now, visually, the website is straightforward and it is infor and it's informative message. And maneuvering around the site is made easy and simple. Now it contains a wide banner with the name of the website, which uh, with the name of the website in a manner that the sense of urgency, economy in crisis, is conveyed straightforward right as you enter the website for any viewer. Now, columns with the partition um, partition the information so it's or more organized. It's easier to maneuver. We are given here issues and economic statistics. The, uh, the, that falls in line with the textual part of the website containing the vital and informative information to anyone who needs to visit, anyone who needs to see statistics or latest actions that are happening on Capitol Hill in Congress, and several articles on the economy from several different contributors, left and right and center, are devoted to the solutions about the economy and how we are going to rebound from the recession we are in right now. Now, other content will include options to view places like the sponsors, the mission of the website, and other recommended sites. And also, along with all of that, we have daily seminars that are uploaded through video and text form, easily viewable and easily followed. If you have a short attention span, it's easier to follow through video, and you can read the article summarily. So, basically, the website is simply put together, and really draws you in through the sense of urgency of the economy that is in crisis and draws you into different opinions so you can formulate eventually your own opinion through most of the articles you see here or in most of the processes you will go through in researching about the website. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Brian and our topic is U.S. Economy and Society and the website that we're presenting is economyincrisis.org and I'm going to talk about the development and history of the website. Um, there were a few steps that I used to gather information about this website and the first being I checked out the staff and contributors uh, section of the website. 
Um, from there, I was able to email directly the president and director of communications of this company, uh, E. David Furman, who gave me all of the information about the development and history of this website. Uh, in his reply to my email, he said that the, the founder, David uh, Thomas Hefner, started Economy in Crisis in 2003, and he created it internally using his own staff to maintain and build the website. Presently, it's maintained by uh, Fairman himself, and he uses a program called Drupal, which is a, um, an open source content management system. That was pretty much all the history I was able to find on the website. Um, even using Google search didn't turn up much results. Um, it shouldn't be this difficult to find uh, history about the website, about a credible website, but the Berkeley Library website also um, gave me tips, uh, leading me to reference to the staffs and uh, contributors section of the website. Thank you. I'll turn it over to Charles now. Hello everyone, my name is Brandy Flair. I'll be talking about the four bulletin of the um, website. Basically, like, while wow, I evaluated the website, it's a credible website. It has decent topic issues, statistics, everything that you need to know about the economics. It also talks about recent recession, um, how the job losses occurred. I feel it's a credible website to use in a college paper because you're able to you go through different articles. Everything's easy to access, easy to find. It's well organized. Like it's, not, it's not crazy or anything. It's real basic information and stuff. You'll find articles about foreign exchange, how the foreign policy and everything's occurring, and it interferes with our businesses. And it's it's like the Foreign exponential businesses taking over the U.S. stuff, and that soon, um, <coughs> soon. Um, anyway, it's a reliable website because it doesn't. It's not biased like other economics like this. It's one-sided. Um, it's practically that's it. My name is Charlie, and as Brian mentioned before, uh, I'm going to cover many of the people that put this website together, including Thomas Hefner, who we mentioned earlier. Thomas is the creator of economy, er, economycrisis.org. Um, he is an Ohio State graduate, and many of the people that he had assembled um, together were his classmates at Ohio State. Um, he also runs a blog called Prepare Your Future, which you can link through the website. And that not only focuses on the U.S. economy and, and struggle, but also the international economy. Um, he focuses on a lot of Europe and Asia. Um, Alexi Cameron also serves as the editor, and he too was um, Thomas Hefner's roommate uh, at Ohio State, and he has a degree in journalism. Uh, many of which created the website either have degrees in political science or journalism. So, thank you. My name is John, and I did um, the third concept on the website. Um, it asks what visual context there was on the website. They have clip art. They also have videos. You see all the cute little pictures and all that good stuff. They also ask what other type of textual content was on the website. Of course, there's articles. You can even subscribe for a newsletter. You can. Um, you can sign up and be a part of their blog, so on and so forth. And uh, I'd also ask you, what else did you find on the website apart from visual and textual content? There's also music on here in regards to the economy and crisis. There's songs on there that relate to the economy and the issues that we're going on to. So the website, when they went all out for their cause, they have videos about the economy, they have text and articles about the economy, and they also have music about the economy. So. They went as far as they could go, and that's that. <laughs> 